gotta love me. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Homespun Geek. I am Ty Lock. Thank you for coming over today. Today, we are going to cover the complete, complete Funko Pop set of the Dinosaurs television show. But before we do that, guys, if you are not yeah. subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit that bell if you'd like to see more of what I post in the future. More complete set videos coming soon, uh, as well as some mystery boxes and other things that I've bought, guys. There's always gonna be more videos coming, so. Uh, yes, dinosaurs. In April of 1991, I was a 10-year-old boy. And ABC on Friday nights used to do this awesome thing called TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, they had lots of great shows, guys. Lots of great shows. They had shows like Boy Meets World, Full House, uh, Home Improvement, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Perfect Strangers. Lots of fantastic shows. But in April of 1991, from the magic that is Disney and Jim Henson, they came up with a show called Dinosaurs. So what I've read, guys, is that Jim Henson came up with this concept of a dinosaurs sitcom. He wanted to have puppets or people in suits. Uh, and basically, everyone thought this was a crazy idea. But then, The Simpsons happened. Uh, it was an animated show. Very funny. Everybody loves The Simpsons. In fact, this past Monday, we did a Simpsons trivia uh, on Happy Hour. So yes, The Simpsons happened. The Simpsons proved very, very popular and successful. And so ABC decided to, you know, go ahead and take the opportunity to create dinosaurs. Uh, I loved dinosaurs. I thought it was one of the funniest shows. At a, as a 10 year old, it was so great. Enjoyed the show. Uh, I watched, I think it was on for four seasons, four years. But Funko has just recently created the dinosaurs Funko Pops. I have the entire set. We're gonna go over them one at a, one at a time. We're gonna save the best one for last, what I think is the best one. And then I'm gonna talk about characters from the show that I would also like to see them make maybe as an exclusive or as another set of commons or a convention exclusive. And also during this video, I will put the pops on the spinner and you guys can have a good chance to look at them out of box all the way around 360 degrees, folks. So let's go ahead and get started with the Funko Pop set of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs was set in 60 million in 3 BC, but it is 2020, the worst year ever, folks. I'm gonna start with my least favorite to favorite. We're gonna go over them one at a time. I'm gonna take them out of the box, put them on the spinner. You guys are gonna get a chance to check them out. So let's start with my least favorite character. Now don't take any offense. This is just my least favorite character, guys. Not somebody that I really enjoyed on the show or found that funny. Not really. Uh, it is, you guys might be upset with my choice for least favorite. It is Mom, it is Fran Sinclair. Uh, Fran was the mother of the dinosaur crew. And uh, that is Fran there on the side. Like I said, I'm gonna take these out. I just didn't think she was as funny because sometimes I feel like the moms are not meant to be funny. They're meant to be the like the anchor or the rock of the family that keeps everybody from going crazy. But yes, yeah, not as funny as some of the other characters, obviously, but you know, endearing. She would, she was an endearing character. Uh, so let's go ahead and take her out and we will look at Fran Sinclair. All right, guys, there is Fran Sinclair with her basically ladle in hand, her apron on. Uh, yeah, she's got the eyeshadow, the pink eyeshadow. I always did think it was cool the way they did her hair. Uh, which is not hair at all, but actually like fins on top of her head. Very, very cool. The spikes are very awesome. Uh, yeah, I like this one. I like the way they made these quite a bit. The pink smock that she has on or t-shirt that she has on, whatever you want to call it. And the plaid apron, very cool. Of course, the dinosaurs didn't wear shoes. So there's her feet with her nails painted red. So that is Fran, guys. Let's take a look at her on the spinner so you can have a chance to see her all the way around. So 
So I like that the apron was tied in a big bow on the back. That's a cool little detail you wouldn't see if you didn't take that out of the box. So let's move on to my next least favorite, but we're getting towards favorite here. My next favorite character, guys, it is... Yeah, Robbie Sinclair. <laughs> Uh, Robbie was just, he's just there, you know, he was a funny kind of like jock guy, kind of like a skateboarder, uh, you know, not, I guess he's not a jock, I don't know, he does have a letter jacket on though, he does have a letter jacket on on the side, so I, he's kind of like an athlete, sort of, but he does have a skateboard, so let's go ahead and take him out guys and we'll take a look at him. So there is Robbie, guys, out of the box. Robbie Sinclair with his skateboard. Very kind of Marty McFly-ish, I think. Now, Robbie does have sneakers on, so there's his athlete style uh, with the letter jacket. On the back, it says Rampaging Trilobites. I don't know if it's going to be able to focus. It's very tiny, but yeah, it has their school mascot and says Rampaging Trilobites on the back of there. Uh, I can't tell. I guess the it's a trilobite but it looks very very strange uh but there's robbie guys yeah robbie sinclair from the dinosaurs i do like the spikes or fins or whatever you want to call those on top of his head it kind of gives him like a mohawk feel you know uh very cool pops i do really like the way they've done these dinosaurs and i'm glad that they did them because dinosaurs was such a great show but all right guys that is robbie sinclair let's take a look at him on the spinner full 360 degree view. Of course, all of these have tails. I forgot to mention that they do have a tail that you can't see if they're in the box. And that letter jacket's actually pretty cool on Robbie, so I do like that quite a bit. All right, guys, next up, the next one we have in the set, it is Charlene Sinclair. That is the daughter, the teenage daughter. I remember she was always on the phone and she always had a very like female teenage attitude, you know? She always had that teenager attitude. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure a lot of people have teenagers and know exactly what I'm talking about. Teen I have a 13 year old, so teenager attitude, folks, comes with the territory. Uh, let's go ahead and get Charlene out and we will look at her up close. Boom, there you go, folks. There is Charlene. She has a mirror in her hand because she's checking out her image. You know, image is very po is very important, guys. If you're a teenager, image is extremely important. Uh, looks like she has lipstick on. That's pretty cool. And then if you turn her around, this is like a very braided sweater. Uh, like a, it's really cool. The texture of the sweater is actually really neat. Uh, again, Charlene does not have shoes on. I guess Robbie is the only one that's gonna have shoes on. He has those sneakers. Uh, but there you go, guys. That is Charlene. Let's go ahead and put her on the spinner as well, folks, and take a look at her. All right, guys, the next one in the set, I guess I could have done these in order of the number, but I don't really care about the number that much. If you guys do, you could have seen the number on the front uh, of the boxes. This one is Earl Sinclair, the dad. Obviously, Earl is probably one of my favorite characters. I loved Earl. He was hilarious. He always had a hard time at his job. He had a terrible boss who always yelled at him. Uh, fantastic character guys but there is the picture of Earl on the side he is number 959 if you if you want to look at the number 959 right there let's go ahead and take him out folks and we will check him out so there you go guys there is Earl Mr. Sinclair himself in his red and black plaid shirt uh, this is kind of like a famous pose from the show where he's kind of smiling and doing his hands like this uh, I really like this one a lot. I really like this. This might be one of my favorite pops, guys. 
Uh, the coloring on these guys is fantastic with the dark and light greens. Let's go ahead and spin him around. There is the back. He's got these like brown spots all the way around the back. And he also has the spikes on his head just like the rest of them, which is really freaking cool. Um, you know, just a good look at the sides. I really like Earl. I really liked this character. He always got the worst end of the stick on every situation, uh, but a pretty fantastic guy. Well, let's look at him on the spinner right now. All right, guys, I saved the best for last, in my opinion, the best for last. You probably know exactly who this is. My favorite character from the show. I think everybody's favorite character from the show. It is Baby Sinclair. Baby Sinclair, fantastic character, has the frying pan in his hand. Him or her, I don't even know if they ever specified a gender uh on baby sinclair they were very ahead of their time there uh, but yes i'm the baby gotta love me fantastic not the mama two fa famous sayings from this child uh there's the picture on the side guys let me get baby sinclair out because i've been looking and really eager to take this guy out and look at him and check him out all the way around so let's go ahead and do that right now all right, guys, there is Baby Sinclair. How freaking cool and adorable and cute is Baby Sinclair. I like the markings all around the head, on the back. There's the little tail, the diaper, and of course his frying pan that he used to beat up his dad with uh, because his dad was not the mama. But yeah, that's a great pop. I like this pop a lot, guys. Hopefully you guys like this show. I thought this was a great show, folks. I really did. I uh, watched it a lot. When they said they were coming out with these pops, I was actually really, really excited to get as many, get all of these, or as many as they came out with. Uh, but with that said, let me go ahead and put him on the spinner so you guys can check him out right now. All right, that was the dinosaur set. Tell me in the comments below, who was your favorite character? Which of those is your favorite pop? I would like to hear from you guys and let me know. I love to talk about uh, that kind of stuff. Which is your favorite? Which one do you think they should make? But with that said, let's talk about who I think they should make from the dinosaurs. So the first one I wanna mention that I would really like to see because this character cracked me up quite a bit. There was an episode I remember significantly in my mind uh, that I will go into details with. Uh, it is Ethel, Ethel Sinclair, uh, or actually I think her name was Ethel Phillips. Yes, Ethel was a fantastic character. It was actually Fran's mom, so it was Earl's mother-in-law. She ended up coming to live with them and she was in a wheelchair and had a cane that she used to smack Earl with all the time. Actually fantastic. I do remember an episode, as I was gonna say, when dinosaurs got to be a certain age, they would take the older dinosaurs out to this canyon and they would throw them in the canyon. Uh, and she reached that age and Earl took her out to throw her in the canyon in the last minute he had a change of heart, which was unlike anybody in the past. No dinosaur had lived past this age. He had a change of heart and he decided not to throw her in the canyon. So he brought her back to the house and just let her continue to live with them. So very funny character, very funny part of the show. I really would like to see that pop as maybe an exclusive or a, hot, or a convention exclusive, something like that. It would be really awesome uh, to add to this set because I really liked this show. I liked this show a lot. I watched it eight, the whole four seasons and now I have it all on DVD. So, so I had it on DVD years ago when it first came out because I really liked the show a lot. One more that I would really like to see, and this would be a little bit harder for them to do. I'll give you a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. It is Mr. Richfield. Uh, it was actually Earl's boss. He was a Triceratops, which is my favorite dinosaur. I love Triceratops. Uh, you know, 
I like dinosaurs. That's my favorite one. So, uh, yeah, I love the Triceratops. I love the dinosaurs. I loved Mr. Richfield. He was not a nice guy. He was always yelling at them. And the voice actor for Mr. Richfield was Sherman Helmsley, uh, who played uh, Mr. Jefferson. If you guys don't, if you remember the Jeffersons, he played Mr. Jefferson. He was the perfect voice for that character, being that overbearing boss who always screamed and yelled. Uh, really, really would be a cool pop if they could do it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I like those two characters. I would really like to see those two characters come. The rest, there were other characters. I just don't remember them as fondly as I do those two. Uh, so tell me, is there somebody that you are thinking of that I have not named that you would like to see them make? Tell me in the comments below that too as well. Uh, I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say. I love to hear what you guys have to say, as far, especially when it comes to pops that they should make because that's one of my favorite categories to talk about ever. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you got a good chance to see them in the 360 degrees. Tell me if you liked the show. What do you think about the show? Do you have fond memories of that show? When I was a kid, I always wanted to be one of the dinosaurs for Halloween. Never really happened, but it would have been hilarious and fantastic if I could have been Earl for Halloween. Great character. I loved the dinosaurs guys. Uh, but that's it folks. Once again, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe before you leave. Hit the thumbs up to like this video and hit that bell for notifications if you'd like to see what I post in the future. Also, while you're here, check out my Patreon, check out my Teespring. Both are linked in the description below. Patreon might get you on a wheel for a big cash prize at the end of every month. So, that's really it, folks. I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a great day.